Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Mikey and today's video we're going to be continuing our series on Canadian medical schools. Today we're going to be talking about the University of Saskatchewan. Now a lot of people, if you're watching this, if you're Ontario, a lot of people don't understand how to apply to, you know, universities abroad for medical schools. By abroad I mean outside the province, including myself. I had no idea how to do that because they don't use the same program that Ontario does. They don't use the same, you know, application system. So today we're joined by one of my actual good friends. His name is Jetton. He also has a YouTube channel that he started recently. I will link it down below, definitely in the description box. If you guys have any questions about applying to University of Saskatchewan or the specific program that Jutton is in, please feel free to comment it down below in this video or feel free to also reach out to me or to Jutton. We would be happy to answer any of the questions that you have. Now, I mainly make videos about tech that students should use in university, study tips. If you are enjoying this series so far, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And without any further ado, let's get started with this video. Hey everyone, so you want to apply to the University of Saskatchewan. Well, step number one is to learn how to pronounce Saskatchewan properly. Before I dive into the questions that Mikey provided me, my name is Jutlin and I'm currently an MBA student and a soon-to-be medical student. So technically I'm part of the five-year MD MBA dual program and if you have any questions about the MBA portion you can just comment them down below or reach out to me on my YouTube channel. Mikey will probably provide a link right on top or in the description for my YouTube channel. So since I haven't started medical school yet, I also got a couple other medical students from USAS to help out with these questions. But other than that, I have lots of friends that are at USAS Medicine and uh, I have a lot of information to provide to you guys. So I did my undergrad at University of Saskatchewan and then I applied as an in-province student. And I've slowly fallen in love with uh, Saskatchewan. And I live in Saskatoon in particular. There are two main cities. Regina, which is the capital of Saskatchewan, and there's Saskatoon, the city that I live in. When I first moved to Saskatoon from Ontario, it was a bit odd because it was a smaller city, but the benefit of that is that I can get across the city in 15 minutes. That's hours saved during the week on commute. My undergrad was in physiology and pharmacology, so that was a Bachelor of Science done in four years. And for University of Saskatchewan Medicine, you need to have an undergrad degree. The undergrad degree can be in anything. Some people do a gap year after their undergrad because they may not be ready for medical school yet or they may not be sure. A lot of people do master's programs usually. So our class size at USASC is 100 people for each year. And there's usually around 10 people that have done their master's in some, of some sort to get into medicine. Some have done two degrees and about 70% of the people that get in usually only have their bachelor's of science and it's their first or second attempt. In terms of the specialty I want to do, well, that's kind of a long-term question, but I have my eyes uh, out for plastic surgery. It's something I've always been passionate about and each year of my undergrad, I decided to ask myself, okay, do I still want to do plastic surgery? And the answer was always yes. Uh, we'll see how shadowing goes in, the, in medical school and whether I even like surgery at all, but that's what I'm hoping to do in the long term. The campus at University of Saskatchewan is honestly beautiful. It is so nice to enjoy during the summer. There's lots of activities going on and usually the campus is really well kept. Uh, under maintenance. So being completely honest, the Saskatchewan winters are pretty brutal. That's what we're known for. It, it gets very cold up north here with temperatures re reaching as low as negative 40, but that's like on the extreme weather weeks. But like I said, it gets pretty cold. So during the winter time, it, it is a bit tough, but you get used to it kind of <laughs> but the summers make up for it because like right now it's summertime and i completely forget about how brutal it is in the winter just because of how nice it is in the summer here obviously due to covid this past year i haven't been able to enjoy campus as much campus life and the culture is very nice everyone is super friendly and the class size is not too big it's like a perfect size it's at 100 and there's two main sites at the university of saskatchewan there's the saskatoon site and then there's the regina site so during your first year everybody all 100 of you are at the saskatoon site but for your second year 60 people stay at the saskatoon site and 40 go to the regina site so there's pros and cons to both sites um, you do give your site preference when you apply and uh, based on where you rank on the acceptance you either get your preferred site or you possibly get the other site. Both sites are good and there's pros and cons like I mentioned. The pros of the Saskatoon site 
is that it's a, a larger city. There's arguably more things to do. Uh, it's the city I've stayed in for the past four years because that's where University of Saskatchewan is based out of. But the cons on the other side is that there's a lot of physicians and medical students here, so you don't get as much hands-on experience. So that's what one of the biggest pros with the Regina campus is that there's a lot more hands-on learning you're in the hospital starting year two. That's where actually your classes are based out of. So you're able to get a lot of that early experience uh, at the University uh, of Saskatchewan Regina site. The city has grown on me. It's honestly so beautiful. I love the events that happen during the summertime, like the Sask Jazz Festival. Uh, there is the Fringe Festival that happens. And there's also an exhibition that happens with like roller coaster rides. And it's a very festive vibe in general during the summer here. The city has been growing with uh, taller buildings now emerging. We have what's known as the Rumai Art Center, which is a very modernized art gallery. And it's quite cool that we have that here in Saskatoon. In terms of how the med school actually works, here, I'll get my sister to talk more about this. Hi everyone, my name is Kirthi and I'm going into my second year of medical school at USASC. So the first two years are in the classroom where you just learn all of the systems in your body and then the next two years are in the hospitals. So your third year is your first year of clinical where you're just doing a bunch of rotations like obsgyn, family med, surgery and things like that and then in your fourth year you get to do electives all across the country in essentially whatever specialty you're most interested in to help you decide. The interview um, has recently been very personal questions based. I won't give any specific questions just because I'm not allowed to. But at the University of Saskatchewan, they just really want to get to know you as an individual. The breakdown of the application is that 20% of your whole application is based on your MCAT, 30% is based on your GPA, and 50% of your application is on the interview. So a huge chunk of your uh, application is the interview itself. That's why they give it a lot of emphasis. Personally, my interview experience went pretty well. I prepped quite a bit more than most people do, but that's just because I enjoyed interview prep in itself. I think that's the key to doing well on the interview um, is to enjoy how you actually go about to prepping. I was watching TV shows, I was listening to podcasts, things that I enjoyed, but I also got to learn about different topics, um, such as like the opioid crisis, about marijuana laws, and about uh, patient-centered care in general. The tuition, I think in Canada in general, is not too, too high, but specifically at the University of Saskatchewan, it's not that high. I believe it's around an average price of $18,000 for each year. And I think like most universities in, in Canada, uh, you get a, about a 350 grand line of credit through the bank of your choice. That way you're easily able to play, pay off your student loans. In terms of how you actually go about to applying at U of S, uh, I'll let my sister answer this question. Currently, the application process itself is pretty simple. The application for me was due on October 1st. Um, it only about takes about 15, 20 minutes to fill out the whole application. It's pretty basic um, and there's just a fee with it and then you release your MCAT scores. Um, with the application as well. Other than that, it's pretty simple. After applying, you just hear back in January whether you got an interview or not typically, and then you typically have interviews in March and hear back around May. In terms of my academics while applying, I won't give you any details about mine. If you're really curious, I'll leave a plug here for my video that I did on my channel. But in general, the rough average of G the GPA and the MCAT score that USASC accepts is for in-province students, the GPA is around 88. And in terms of the MCAT score, the median is around a 508. This varies for each year and we've had MCAT median scores as high as I believe 511 and as low as around 506. In terms of GPA, this varies as well. We've had as low as around, around a median of 84 and as high as 90. Out of province, it's a lot more difficult because there's not as many spots. There's usually max around five to 10 spots for out of province. They have a very high cutoff in terms of your MCAT. I believe it's as high as around 520 and your average needs to be pretty high as well. But once you're past that cutoff, 
in terms of cars and uh, your GPA and you do get an interview invite, it's all based on your interview after that as an out of province student. I personally didn't have any research uh, during undergrad. I was very busy with volunteering. Um, research was something that never really appealed to me, but I know that some of the other universities in Canada highly prioritize research, especially like University of Ottawa. Like they, if you don't have research, you almost cannot expect to get into that university. But uh, I do know other friends that have had research uh, experience. It doesn't necessarily come in handy to get into medical school, but it's really useful once you are in medicine. For extracurriculars, this is where I went all out. I, I really focused on personal growth over the years and being able to give back to the community. I did a lot of volunteering. Uh, one of the main places was a student-run health clinic called SWITCH. You can search up more about SWITCH if you're interested. This is where I got to learn a lot about how a clinic is run and the different difficulties that patients face from uh, every day. This is ultimately where I really learned about the social determinants of health. So here's a list of some of the social determinants of health. This is not an exhaustive list by any means. There's still a lot more. And uh, knowing about the social determinants of health is very key to doing well on your interview. Another place I volunteered was at an uh, organization called PAL, P-A-A-L. This is a place where I helped out individuals with intellectual impairments and helped them get fit at the gym because that's something I'm very passionate about. So it was really easy for me to do, but at the same time, it was nice being able to help individuals that have a difficult time getting healthy and uh, being able to guide them through how exercises and teach them about basics of nutrition. Other than these two, I was involved in some uh, university uh, clubs. One of them was the student society for my undergrad degree. And I was also part of uh, a vegans of USASC. Lastly, I had two part-time jobs. Uh, while going through undergrad. They were very part-time, but I learned so much through them. One of the most rewarding jobs was being a standardized patient at USASC. So I actually got to sit in for some of the OSCEs for first year medical students, second year medical students, all the way up to being part of a residency exams. Now this is a tip I highly recommend you to partake in if you're going through undergrad. Try to see if you can volunteer or work as a standardized patient at your university because you'll get to see the behind the scenes and you'll also get to decide on whether you want to partake in medicine or maybe pharmacy and physiotherapy are better routes for you. Okay, in terms of actually getting in and giving you tips for that, I think the university really wants just wholesome individuals that are down to earth. I think that's kind of the key to any medical school. Uh, USASC has a little bit of lower cutoffs for in-province students than other provinces do, which leads to some people thinking it's easier to get into U University of Saskatchewan compared to other universities. But at the same time, I actually know a handful of amount of friends that have had high MCAT scores all the way up to around 518 to 520 and still not getting accepted at the University of Saskatchewan. That's because of the 50% interview weight. And if you're not a good interviewer, and if you're not able to show your soft skills during the interview, then you may not actually get in. Hi, my name is Coyote, and I'm going into my third year of medical school at the University of Saskatchewan. First, I would say uh, diversify your experience. Um, life is short as it is, and even though I know everyone just wants to get into med school, wants to get into med school, but sometimes it's, it's good for you to uh, experience different things. Maybe uh, volunteer, shadow, see things around the world, see things that uh, maybe you wouldn't see in the classroom. Another tip I would give is during the interview, just try to have fun and try to be the best you can be. In the moment, I know it's very stressful, it's very uh, difficult at that moment, but just try to be confident in what you have and be and play to your strengths. I know for my interview, I was just on a Lex level of confident because I believed that, okay, I'll do the best I can and that's all I can ask myself to do. And because of that, I felt so confident during the interview. Afterwards, I freaked out about every station, but uh, doing the interview, it really helped me feel calm and helped me go to every single station and do the best performance I could in every station. I would highly encourage you to familiarize yourself with Indigenous health. Indigenous health is very important in Canada in general, but at the University of Saskatchewan, we are located on Treaty 6 territory and uh, there's definitely one interview question every single year on indigenous health. Other than indigenous health, I really recommend you also focus on rural health because there are a lot of rural towns in Saskatchewan and you may actually get placed there for different practicals and for shadowing. Overall, I'm honestly really happy and proud to be going to the University of Saskatchewan. Like I mentioned, the campus is 
absolutely beautiful. The Health Sciences building is very new, it's quite modern, which fits in really well with my taste. I love the people here. The close connection of just 100 people in the class is really unmatched. And this is something that I learned when I was talking to a friend that goes to U of T Medicine, and he was always talking great things about University of Saskatchewan. And I was like, hey man, you go to University of Toronto, how come I don't see you boasting about that as much uh, when we're conversing? And he said that, to be completely honest, with the U of T class size, it's hard to make those close bonds with people. I just have a general tip for anyone applying to medicine. It's a really tough process, but just believe in yourself and work hard. If you really want it, whether it's in your first application cycle or your fourth application cycle, you can do it, but it just requires a lot of hard work. And along the way, remember to have fun. I remember in my first year of university, I was thinking, I'll be happy once I get into medical school, but I strongly dislike that mentality now. And I really go by, try to be happy each day. And I think that has really gotten me to where I am today.